The nail shoot is smooth transform. It's a very useful component that allows you to basically offset something and smoothly follow another object. So, let's get right into it. Over here, I already have set up two boxes that are paired to each other. The small box is paired to the big box. Now we can make a smooth transform by going to attach component, transform, drivers, and at the very bottom here we have smooth transform. By attaching this, it will also immediately find the position, rotation, and scale values and put them into the target position, target rotation, and target scale. If you want to offset the object off from the thing it's paired to, you can use these values and as you can see, as you change them, it will actually make it smoothly move based on that. So if you wanted to make a little animation with it, you could drive those target positions or write to them and it'll smoothly change between these positions. For example, if I change the X here, it'll move over smoothly. So this is a very simple way that you could, for example, make stuff like doors opening smoothly without having to actually animate the entire door going from A to B. This way you can just go close state, open state, and the rest will just be interpolated for you. Now, if we reset this back to how it was, what you can also do with this is you can just make another one of these boxes here. Go to the top, grab the main box, uh, well, the original box too, and then we just slot it into the other box to its parent slot, which will actually change the thing that it's parented to without changing any of these values. Because usually when you reparent something, it'll try to keep it in the same space. But if we change the parent, all of these values will just be taken directly as they were. So if we make another one, and then parent that one to the current highest one, it'll shrink down relationally, and now we have a little tower. If we now move this around like this, you can see they all offset from each other. Now what you can do with this is you can make some really nice, neat looking stuff. You can also use this to make some kind of ghost flying around, as you can see. It would look basically like a little spirit if you give it some more vis like glowy visuals. There is a lot of things that you can use Smooth Transforms for, such as more simplistic stuff like this, but also more complex stuff. Like, you could make a system where you have an object that can move around, but only to a certain extent. The way that you would achieve this is down here, we have the smooth speed. If we change the smooth speed, which I'll demonstrate here, to, for example, 10, this will now very quickly follow almost equally. If we make this even higher to a thousand, it's now basically as if it was directly parented to it. Now, what we would do in order to make this change dynamically is we could, for example, take the position here, for which we need a flux tip though, so if we take the position here, then we get out a operators, distance, distance float, and we get the distance between where the box currently is to zero. We can then actually just grab the smooth speed drive it, slap this into here, and now by default it's 0.75, however, as I move it, it's going to speed up, and the farther it's away, the better it's going to follow. This means that if I move it slowly, you can see that it actually takes a long time to reset, because its speed changes over time, so you have a lot more easing at the end. Now, this can be useful for a lot of different things. As I said before, you can make doors with it, or literally anything that you can think of that needs to smoothly animate between two points, smoothly scale, 
For example, I've done UI stuff with it before where I just had some UI that expands and contracts and I've used the smooth transform here to do that. However, when you're doing that, you ideally want to also know which space you're doing it with because currently these will actually always move in global space. If you wanted it to only change when it actually needs to locally wise, we can grab the box here, slot it into the local space here, and now if we move it, you'll see that the boxes above who still have global space in there will still move when I do this, but this one won't. However, if I now animate, or not animate, but change the value for scale here, is there, do we have a one somewhere? Yeah, we do have it here. If I change this value here, you'll see that it'll actually still animate like this. So if I reset all of this to X, you'll see it'll actually smoothly change. This is useful because now, if the object is moving, it's going to not lag behind. However, if you actually want to affect this object here, it's going to smoothly transition. Which you can, as you can see, also use for some platforms that raise and lower but also are on a moving platform themselves so that you can have some more dynamic platforming. But yeah, that is pretty much everything there is to know about it. It's not a very complex component. And yeah, I hope that it helps you do whatever you want to do. I hope you liked this video. If you've got any suggestions for future videos, want me to cover something, drop it down below in the comment box and I'll check it out. If you have any other questions regarding Resonite, specifically like what you can do in here and stuff like that, do also drop these down below and I will respond to them. Well, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.